just give me an idea, a ballpark. How many millions do you think will die, and what's the time window? Just a ballpark. Estimate. Well, by, by their own estimate, they're looking for 700 million people globally, and that would put the U.S. Um, participation in that, certainly as a pro rata of, of injected population, somewhere between 75 and 100 million people. That's, wait, that's in the USA, or that's the world? No, that's in the United States, somewhere between 75 million and 100 million people. And what's the time frame that they'll die in? Well, they, there's certainly, there's a lot of economic reasons why people hope that it's between now and 2028. Um, not the least of their concerns is that by 2028 we have a tiny little glitch on the horizon, which is the illiquidity of the Social Security and Medicare and Medicaid programs. So the fewer people who are recipients of Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid, the better. Um, not surprisingly, it's it's probably one of the motivations that led to the recommendation that people over the age of 65 were the first ones getting injected. Could you just give me an idea? Revelation chapter 6, verse 8. And then look, and behold, a pale horse, and his name that sat on him was Death, and hell followed with him and power <laughs> was given unto him and power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth to kill with sword and with hunger and with death and with the beasts of the earth Kahalal Yahaba Bahasham Yahabushai Bahasham Mucha Badash and double honor to my teachers, the apostles, the elders, and the bishops of Great Millstone, who are trouble our souls. Shall the warm to the Yakim who avoid the dark sincere and serious doing the will of Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweshai, Bahasham Mukha Kodash. Second Peter chapter 1, verse 1 and 2. To you all, stay strong and stay mighty. I am the, the brother. The disciple Kosha Banyamin from the branch in Great Millstone Barbados. So, you know, we in um, time where these Edomites boy they can let loose. You know what I mean? They can let loose. Um, Revelation 12 and 12 for he knew that he had but a short time. You see? Right? Pestilence says he's prepared. It, it really. You know what? Let me get this preset here. I ain't gonna make this alone. Right? Um, this is Psalm 17, verse 13. Arise, O Yahweh, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. Khan. So really, boy, all this death and destruction and the famine is really from Yahweh Bar Hashem Yahweh Shai, boy. Right? Now, the scripture says, um, let my great be kept. kept. Second Ezra 9, verse 22. Let the mother too perish then, which was born in vain. And let my great be kept, and my plant, for with great labor have I made it perfect. And that is the elect that the Lord is going to shield from all this destruction. The scripture says, um, was that, um, is in the, in the Apocrypha. Um, uh, how does it go? These things are created for. These things are created for the ungodly. Well, how does that go, boy? These things are created. There was a quote. Um, Sirach 4010. There was a quote. I forget. I forget this woman's name. But, um... She said we are riders of the pale horse. Is that it? Sarah chapter 40. Right? And verse 
Let me see. Let me start at verse 9. It's about 40 verse 9. This is death and bloodshed, strife and sword, calamities, famine, tribulation, and the scourge. These things are created for the wicked. So what, what you are seeing here is judgment coming upon this earth and it's for the wicked. You know what I mean? It's for the wicked boy. I remember Pastor Ariamla said a lot of spirits, a lot of souls here on this earth to get judged. Just roughly quoting his words, right? So these things are created for the wicked. Yeah, so the, 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 the thief of wild beasts, you know what I mean? Uh, the famine. Well, I don't understand the, 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 the jabs. Right now, um, I know who truly says, but there's a WhatsApp picture that was sent to me. To re enter into the schools, you you got to get the job. You see? After this summer vacation here, I know who true it is. I got I to got, um, look more into it, but that's really the uh, voice, the... the, the um, Acting Prime Minister, you know, it's, um, a picture of my first saying that. I ain't know how true it is. You know what I mean? But you know, this job in, 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 um easy. This job did a lot of damage, boy. So these things are created for the wicked and for their sins came the flood. You see? So let me get this last preset here. When it says, um, Thief of wild beasts. Because we don't understand that he saw got some things out there, but he can let loose, brother. The pestilences, you know, the malaria, the monkeypox, the monkeypox in Trinidad. You know, like a line here. Lord, man, we, hey, we get ready for the, the climax of Bacchus, right? The seventh of August, I think. Is that? And a lot of people can come in from different parts of the world. So you know, after this event, look for the COVID cases that skyrocket, and look for some form of um, quote unquote bad news, man. It's a wrap thirty nine and. Um, When you hear there be spirits that are created for vengeance, which he saw Edom, he's the ultimate spirit. The Lord is using him to punish you wicked people, boy. They hope and prayer. You know what I mean? Uh, I found worthy in his eyes. You know what I mean? And uh, my loved ones as well, but that ain't my call. If I found worthy in his eyes, ain't even my call either. It just working on my own salvation with fear and trembling, boy. There be spirits that are created for vengeance. Which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour up their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Who's that? Yahweh. Bahasham Yahweh Shai. Fire and hail and famine and death, all these were created for vengeance. Fire and hail and famine and death, all these were created for vengeance thief of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents and the sword, punishing the wicked to destruction. They shall rejoice in his commandment, and they shall be ready upon earth when need is. And when their time is come, they shall not transgress his word. Weird thing, boy, so... You know, I just want to do this short video here. I wanted to find out a quote, but I think it's an Edomite woman that said, we are riders of the pale horse. You see? And then there's one by uh, another man when he said, uh, I have become deaf, the destroyer of worlds. You know what I mean? So, you want to see a major shake up over here, big man. But when are his clothes, when they see what's going on. You see? When you see what's going on, boy, 
by 2028 they would have estimated to have killed over over between 70 to 100 million people brother they are the ready to the pale horse big man huh to bring death be <laughs> you can imagine that so a lot of people boy hey the Lord is going to punish a lot of the people using these eating mighty hands, boy. Now, why I write Psalm 7 and 13, deliver my soul from the wicked which is thy sword. You know what I mean? Real thing, boy. So, Proverbs 22, verse 3. A prudent man for see if the evil are hiding himself, but the simple pass on and are punished, boy. Only a matter of time, boy. You know what I mean? But Psalm 91, He that dwelleth in the secret place on the more side shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of Yahweh, He is my refuge. So like it. So like it, right? Let me read that back again. Psalm 91 and verse 2. I will say of Yahweh, He is my refuge and my fortress, my power in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee. From the sneer of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Apostle Gabar, this was back when it was on Psalm, when it was on um, 24th and 7. He said, um, He said, Don't worry about these things, brothers. If you can find out, clip, boy. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, these things, boy. The guil, the guillotines, the, 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 um, I forget his exact words, boy. Don't worry about them things, but that's them in for me. The Lord really, you know what I mean? It says, Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. Noonday is the highest point of Esau's um, kingdom. Is where, boom, Lord is kicking the door. See? Pestilence. In the sense of destroying. You see? A plague. A marine. Marine. A cattle disease, cattle plague. That word marine sticking out to me. A plague, a pestilence in general. Yeah, so the scripture says, uh, Behold, I send plagues upon the world. That word marine means an infectious disease, especially babis, babesiosis. God. Affecting cattle or other animals, a plague, epidemic, or crop blight. Marine, also known as distemper, is an antiquated term for various infectious diseases affecting cattle and sheep. Right, so it can come for humans too. You see? Right? I think I made the point, man, you know? We love to be done with these things. Remember when the snake bite Apostle Paul's hand and, it, and it, he shook it off, another hammer to him? You know, so he log and deliver his elect. You know what I mean? Let my grip be kept, boy. But yeah, my 
And they want to like, they want to bring out some scriptures before, you know, to get up on the road here. But yeah, but we approaching that time, but Daniel 12 and 1, shh, I should have been with that one too. Daniel 12 and 1, but before you move off, right, there should be a time of trouble. Say that never was since, but shh, God, I got going out, boy. I got brought out, boy. There should be a time of trouble. Hey, bro, I didn't shot shot, man. Say. Hey, bro, I didn't shot shot. Say. Daniel. We don't, we don't, we don't understand what's going on but in this world, boy. Okay, so this is the book of um, Daniel 12 and 1. And it reads, And at that time shall Micah stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble such, such as never was seen there was a nation even to that same time. So the time that come again be dreadful, boy. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. That the elect, boy. Real thing. So, Kahala, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahushai, Bahasham, Mokhar, Kodash. Shalom. And uh, chemtrails, by the way, barium salts are in chemtrails. They are 10,000 times more toxic to your nervous system than lead. They contain mycobacteria, viruses, Pseudomonas florensis, bacteria, human plasma. Hmm, wonder what human plasma is doing in chemtrails. And this is not by conjecture. I did a lot of research before I'd ever say this. But these chemtrails are nasty. And there's three reasons for chemtrails. The first is they, and I talked to my NSA buddies at Fort Carson, Peterson Air Force Base at Buckley, where I was actually their doctor taking care of the pilots flying and spraying the chemtrails. So I know it's real. If anybody says it's not real, they're full of it. Okay, because I'm a whistleblower on the inside. It's not open for discussion. And my NSA buddies told me, 95% of them told me, they were up there trying to spray to reflect the sun out to stop global warming. So most of them are dumb enough to believe that garbage. Okay. And also in the chemtrails, and there's a link directly that Jeff Rance has found out, and I'm going to have Dr. Staninger and Dr. Uh, Karju uh, on in about a week on my radio show. And I've done some investigations, and there's very solid evidence now that Morgellons is caused by a silicon-based nanomachine life form that does not originate on planet Earth. Is that not interesting? This is a silicon-based life form that is intelligent like bees or ants, and it fights back. Conversion of the atmosphere into a plasma for weather, modification, geotectonic warfare, scalar mind control technologies, the woodpecker, uh, which has been discovered back in the 70s, HARP, the Tetris system in the United Kingdom, Gwen Towers in the United States, and the Iridium uh, satellite system connected to the cell towers and the smart highways is all based on not only sending out a signal to track you, but Nokia, which is one of the leading cell companies, has figured out a new way to cut down the need for increased amount of signal by three to five times as many cell phones in the same signal area by beaming the signal directly to you. But they can also, besides the cell signal, they can actually have a biocoded signal to your DNA to affect your physiology and insert thoughts into your mind. And they have this technology today.